I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to another day in the presence of the Most High God. The good Lord Almighty will overshadow us tonight with His love, with His power, and with His favor in the name of Jesus. We start today's broadcast by singing Him, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Amen. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning, a song shall rise to thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Holy, 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 all the saints adore casting down their golden crowns around the glassy seat. Cherubim and seraphim falling down before thee, which wealth and art and evermore shall be. Holy, 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 God, the darkness I thee, though the eyes of sinful man, the glory may not see. Only thou art holy, there is no besides thee. Perfect in power, love and purity. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, all the world shall praise thy name in air and sky and sea. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Ah, amen. Our righteous and holy Father will bless you. We exalt your holy name because you are the God that answered it by fire. You are our Lord, you are our maker, you are our redeemer, you are our strength, you are our everything. Father, we return all glory back to you tonight for everything that you have been doing for us. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Mighty and everlasting Father, we lay our lives at your feet tonight. We know we have sinned against you and we pray for mercy. Father, have mercy upon us in Jesus' name. Wash you all our sins and create in us the spirit to sin no more. In the mighty name of Jesus, fill us, O oh God, tonight with fresh power from above. In the mighty name of Jesus, let there be a release of fire upon every soul here tonight. And let every demonic deposit in our lives be burnt to ashes in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Today is Sunday. I want you to pick a song of worship to exalt the name of the Lord. I want you to pick a song of worship to celebrate Jesus Christ. I want you to pick a song of worship to join the 24 elders to reference the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, in the name of Jesus. On to the Lord be the glory, great things he has done. Unto the Lord be the glory, great things he has done. I say unto the Lord be the glory, great things he has done. Unto the Lord be the glory, great things he has done. Great things he has done, greater things he will do unto the Lord be the glory, great things he has done. 
our Father in heaven, we glorify your name. We bow down before you, our Father in heaven, we glorify your name. We bow down before you, Emmanuel, 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 your name is Emmanuel, 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 your name is Emmanuel. No heri makari makasiri ribo ria ndiri ba ri makasi andara ri makasiri ri buri makari a karamari makarama kasaraba ri makasiri ri madiri ba jiso imano imano Emmanuel, Emmanuel, oh Lord, your name is Emmanuel, 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 our Lord and our Savior, we exalt you, we bless and we magnify your holy name. You are the only God that can do all things. You are the only God that his name is above every other name. You are the only God that his name is a strong tower that saved the righteous. Father, we thank you because you are our God. We appreciate you, Lord, because you are our light, our salvation. You are our everything, O Lord. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Mighty and everlasting Father, we come before you, God. We come before you, God, with our dirty lives. We know the Bible says no unrighteousness shall enter into the kingdom of God. Father, Lord, we want to enter your kingdom. Kingdom. Wash away all our sins in Jesus' name. By the blood of your son Jesus that was shed on the cross. Father Lord, let there be divine purging tonight. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord God, my Father, by the blood of your son Jesus Christ, purge me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. By the blood of your son Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father, purge me, oh Lord, purge me from my head to the sole of my feet, purge my life, purge my marriage, purge my home, purge my children, purge my foundation, oh Lord, purge us by the power in the blood of Jesus, oh Lord, purge me, oh Lord, purge me, oh Lord, purge me, oh Lord, purge me. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, wicked powers. Determined to destroy me. Wicked powers determined to destroy me. You are a liar. Da, 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 da. Wicked powers, wicked elders, wicked friends determined to destroy me. Any power anywhere, any spirit anywhere on assignment and with great determination to destroy me. You are not God. Da, da, da. Open your mouth and pray against any power that are determined to destroy you. Come Command them right now to die. They must die. They must die. I say die. 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 In the name of Jesus. Any power anywhere. Determined to destroy me. Determined to destroy the works of my hands. Determined to destroy my family. Determined to destroy my children. Determined to destroy my dreams. You are not God. Die. 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 In Jesus' name. We are praying you will lift up your voice in anger. Say, powers that want me to suffer till I die. Powers that want my children, that want my marriage to suffer till I die. You are a failure. Die, die, die. Open your mouth and pray. Powers that want me to suffer till I die. Powers that want my children, that want my wife, that want my marriage, that want my business, that want my ministry to suffer till I die. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus, die, 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 die. Command those powers to die. Any power anywhere that wants you to suffer till you die. Any power anywhere that wants your children, that wants your ministry, that wants your calling, that wants your finances. To suffer to you die. They are liars. Command them to die. They, die. they must 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 die. In Jesus' name, they are there. Say wicked powers that want me to dance naked. 
Any power anywhere that wants me to dance naked, any power anywhere that wants me to be put to shame, run mad, run mad, run mad, run mad in the name of Jesus. Any power anywhere that wants me to dance naked, any wickedness in high places, wicked elders that wants me and my family to dance naked, I command you to run mad, run mad, run mad, run mad, run mad. Oh, pull your mouth and pray against powers that want you to dance naked, command them to run mad. Mad. They must run mad. They must run mad. They must run mad. They must run mad. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, waters of affliction and bread of sorrow in my belly. Waters of affliction and bread of sorrow in my belly. I vomit you out in the mighty name of Jesus. Waters of affliction and the bread of sorrow in my belly. I vomit you out. Vomit them out. Every waters of affliction, every bread of affliction in your belly, in your life, in your children's life, command them to be vomited out. 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 In the name of Jesus. Come out, 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 in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say, wicked hands, troubling the peace of my home. Wither, in the name of Jesus. Wicked hands, troubling the peace of my home. I command you to wither, 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 wither. Oh, pull your mouth and pray against every wicked hands that are troubling your peace, troubling your dreams, troubling your businesses, troubling your ministry. Command them to wither, 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 wither. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, attack against my life in the dream. Backfire in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power, any spirit, any authority attacking in the dream. In the name of Jesus. Da, da, da. Attack against my soul. Attack against my marriage. Attack against my ministry in the dream. Backfire, 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 backfire. Open your mouth and pray against every dream attack. Command them to die and backfire. Command them to die and backfire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Wonderful Father, we thank you because we are God that answered our prayers. We give you glory, honor, and adoration because of what you have started to do in our lives. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, we commit our lives into your hands, O oh God. We lay everything at your feet, O oh God. We have no power of our own. That's why we are here at your feet, O oh Lord. Father, empower us tonight in the name of Jesus. Give us victory over the kingdom of darkness. Give us victory over the arrows of darkness. Give us victory over the ganging up against us in the name of Jesus. Wherever the enemies are right now, and they are conspiring against us, Holy Ghost, send down your fire and waste them in the name of Jesus. Every conspiracy in the heavenlies, every conspiracy around you, every conspiracy in your father's house, in your mother's house, in your in-laws house, against your life. Heaven will scatter them in the name of Jesus. Whosoever has sown their souls to the devil and they want to sacrifice you, they will sacrifice themselves. They will sacrifice themselves in the name of Jesus. Father, we surrender her to you. I surrender my life before you, O God. I'm a man of uncleanness. Father, wash me clean, Lord. Break me down, remove me, O Lord, and make me, Lord, a verse unto honor. Fit for your use all the days of my life to depopulate the kingdom of darkness and to populate your own kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to another time in his presence, the time to study the book of Revelation, chapter 16. And the Lord God Almighty will open our understanding and give us the blessings of studying this book of Revelation. Let's open our Bible quickly. To Revelation chapter 16, from verse 1 through to the end. And the theme for today's teaching is the seven last plagues. The seven last plagues. Whether we like it or not, the word of the law will come to pass. Even though the heaven and the earth should roll away, the Bible says none of his words shall return back to him void. Meaning everything that the Lord God has spoken will surely come to pass. I pray that you and I will not be partakers of the wrath of God in Jesus' name. And whatever the enemies are planning, 
to take us away from under the shadow of the Almighty. Those plans of the enemies will backfire and catch fire in the name of Jesus. We cover this teaching tonight with the blood of Jesus and with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Wherever the enemies are ganging up right now in the heavenlies, Holy Ghost fire consume them in the name of Jesus. Enemies that are waiting to hijack the angels of our blessings, they will swallow fire and they shall die in the name of Jesus. Beloved, there is power in prayer. I want you to keep praying in the next few days before the end of this month, please increase the tempo of your prayers because the enemy knows that you are about to uncover all their secrets. They are powerless. To Christians who knows their right in Christ, the dark world are powerless because whenever there is darkness, when the light appears, darkness must bow. They know that as soon as you understand this principle, they become irrelevant and they'll be looking for ways to block your mind, to block our minds from knowing this truth. And I pray, the Bible says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. The truth you're about to know tonight will set you and your family free from the attack and the harassment of the kingdom of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. In Revelation chapter 16, from verse one, the Bible says, and I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, go your ways and pour out the veils of the wrath of God upon the earth. Seven angels were instructed to go and pour the wrath of God, the anger of God, the judgment of God upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his veil upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon men, which are the mark of the beast upon their hand, and which worship his image, meaning all the wrath that the angels are pouring, they are for those who have the mark of the beast on their heads, who are worshiping the beast, and who have the image of the beast around them. And you saw when we talked about the mark of the beast, that it is not the mark people will receive in their hands. They are the characteristic features of the beast being exhibited in human's life. That anyone caught in that act or exhibiting the characteristics of the beast is time to have received the mark of the beast. I pray that any mark that you have received or anything that you are doing that will make heaven to categorize you as a member of the beast, Holy Ghost fire will purge you. We purge me. We put every soul here in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Verse 3. And the second angel poured out his veil upon the sea, and it became as the blood of a dead man. And every living soul died in the sea. Another plague, causing living things to die in the sea. All these things are real now and they have happened many are still coming but i pray that you and i will not be a partaker of the wrath of god verse 4 and the third angel poured out his veil upon the rivers and fountains of waters and they became blood and i heard the angel of the waters say thou art righteous o lord which art and worse and shall be because thou hast judged off. For they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. And I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgment. And the fourth angel poured out his veil upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scourge men with fire. We have seen instances of strange fires erupting and destroying lives and properties. These are the wrath of God being poured upon the earth. Because of what? Because of man's ways of life. Man have refused to serve God. We have turned to our own ways and God is angry. That's why God is releasing his punishment upon those who refused to serve him. Verse 7. And I heard another out of the stars saying, The Lord Almighty, true and righteous, are thy judgment. 
And the fourth angel poured out his veil upon the sun, and the power was given unto him to scourge men with fire. And men were scourged with great heat, and blasphemed the name of God, which had power over this place. And they repented not to give him glory. Is it not happening now? These are things that are that were already predicted, that God showed to John. Even when God was sending plagues upon the head, people will still refuse to serve God. In this present age now, the plague of coronavirus has crippled the entire world. But sadly, have we ever come together as inhabitants of this world to declare a day of prayer and fasting or to declare a day just to worship this God or to declare a day to repent from our evil ways? People repented not according to this revelation that people will not repent. With this coronavirus, there is gross abominations being carried out by man. It is not strange. It is biblical. But you and I, because we carry the mark of the blood of Jesus, we are exempted from this pain of coronavirus. We are exempted from the pain of the wrath of God. The wrath of God is for those who have received the mark of the devil. It's not for believers like you and I. Verse 10. And the fifth angel poured out his veil upon the seat of the beast. And the kingdom was full of darkness. And they gnashed their tongues for pain and blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains and their souls and repented not of their deeds. Even in their pains, even in the pains of the world right now, rather than for the world to repent, we are even blaspheming the name of God. People are even cursing God. People are even talking against the temple of God. If there is any time in the history of man when people are disobeying the temple of God, when people are slandering the heavenly beings, it is now. There has never been a time in history when the church has been dragged in the mud, when men of God have been dragged in the mud. These are signs of the end of age. Verse 12. And the sixth angel poured out his veil upon the great river Ephraim, and the water thereof was dried up, and the way of the kings of the east, night might be prepared. And I saw three unclean spirits. I want you to mark this verse 13. For those of us who are miracle seekers, for those of us who are jumping because of miracles, and I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet, the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet. Verse 14. For they are the spirit of devils, plural, devils, working miracles. We go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the old world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. The devil has poured out the spirit of the frog. I saw the evil spirit like a frog coming out from the mouth of the dragon, the beast, and fake prophet. The fake prophet and the fake miracle workers of this age, they are agents of darkness recruiting souls against the great day when they wage war against God. There is still going to be a war, not a war that people will carry gone but a, a spiritual war whereby people's souls will be harvested towards the camp of the devil. Are you going to allow your life to be harvested and recruited for the devil? Or are you going to stand on the truth? And how do you know those fake prophets? How do you know them? The false prophets, the antichrist, the spirit of the frog is a jumping spirit. You can never see a frog walking. Frogs do hop. So whenever you see someone preaching the gospel 
on the altar and they are jumping up and down. It is not the spirit of God in them. It is the spirit of frog in them that is making them to jump like toads, to jump like frogs. So be careful. Next. Behold, I come as a thief. God is warning us. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garment, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Blessed are you and I that keep it our garment, which is the gospel. The gospel is the only thing that will give us victory over this false prophet, dragon, and the devil. For if we don't keep walking in holiness, if we don't keep walking in righteousness, if we don't keep living our lives according to the scripture, the Bible says, lest they will be naked. The devil will come and shame the person. My prayer tonight is this, that when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will defend you in the mighty name of Jesus. And he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue, Amageddon. And the seventh angel poured out his veil onto the hair, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne saying it is done and there were voices and thunders and lightnings and there was a great earthquake such as was not once men were upon the earth so mighty an earthquake and so great and the great city was divided into three parts and the cities of the nations fell, and great Babylon came in remembrance before God to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of the wrath. And every island fled away, and the mountains were not found. For every nation and those leaders that have sown their souls to the devil they will drink of the wrath of the cup of God. According to the Bible. So, anyone born of a woman that God created in his own image and after his own likeness, if they decide out of their own will to join the devil by not worshipping God, by not doing according to the leading of the Holy Spirit, if they decide to follow the devil, the punishment that God gave to Adam and Eve, a more grievous punishment awaits them. Devil is a liar, is a deceiver. He knows that in the end of age, the only thing to catch people into his coven is through fake miracles. You saw when we read chapter 13 about the beast bringing down fire, doing miracles in sight of men. I pray that you and I will not fall into the trap of the beast. Will not fall into the trap of the fake prophet in the name of Jesus. Verse 21. And there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent. And men blaspheme God because of the plague of the hell. For the plague thereof was exceedingly great. The plague was exceedingly great. Let's put this plague of hell to be the plague of corona. I may be wrong. I stand to be corrected. In the history of man, has there been any time in the history of man when a plague Stop the whole world. When the whole world was plagued, we should go back and have a rethink. Jesus is at the corner. His coming is now. The Bible says it is done. It can be tonight. It can be tomorrow. His coming is at hand. The question now is this. You and I, the Lord God Almighty, has opened our eyes and our understanding to know 
what the end of age will be. Are you prepared? Am I prepared? Are you prepared? Am I prepared? You will start seeing what will become of those who have received the mark of the beast. As we proceed further from the next chapter, we now, we now begin to see the kind of things that we happened to those whose names are not in the book of life. We now start seeing the kind of pains, punishment, sorrow, total torment that will befall those who have sown their souls to the devil. I want you to open your mouth tonight and tell God, Lord, save me from every dark path that I'm following. Save me, O oh Lord, from every ways of destruction I'm following. Save me, O oh Lord, if I'm following the ways of the devil. Father, pull me out and put me on the path of righteousness. Say, O oh Lord, my Father, pull me out of the path of destruction and put me on the path of righteousness in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, pull me out of the path of destruction and put my feet on the path of righteousness in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, pull me out of the path of destruction and put me on the pathway of righteousness. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, mark of the beast in my foundation be roasted by fire. Mark of the beast in my foundation be roasted by fire. Mark of the beast in my family, in my home, around me, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. You mark of the beast around me, in my life, in my family. I say catch fire, I say catch fire, I say catch fire, I say catch fire. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, if I am in the net of fake prophet, oh God, my father, deliver me in the name of Jesus. If I'm in the net of a prophet, oh Lord God, my father, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. If I'm in the net of a prophet, oh Lord God, my father, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say powers. There wants problems of life to end my life. Powers. That wants to end my life with the problems of life. You are a liar. Da, 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 da. Any power that wants me to die in problems. Any power that wants my children, that wants my family to die in problems. You are a liar. Da, 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 da. Hope pull your mouth and pray. Any power that wants you to die in problems. I command those powers to die. I command them to die. Any power that wants your children, that wants your family, that wants your ministry, that wants your calling, that wants your job, that wants your business to die in problem. I command those powers to die, to die, to die, to die, to die, to die, to die. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say problems that will make me to bow down to fake prophet. Problems that will make me to serve the beast shall not come to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Problems that will make me to serve a prophet that will make me to bow down before Satan shall not come to me, shall not come to me, shall not come to my children, shall not come to my home, shall not come to us, shall not come to us on this platform. Problems that will make us to bow before Satan shall not be our portion, shall not be our portion, shall not be your portion, shall not be the portion of your family in the name of Jesus. You will not have cause to go and bow before Satan. You will not have cause to go and bow before fake prophet. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say poverty, sickness, frustration, and stagnancy shall not end my life. Poverty, sickness, frustration, and stagnancy shall not end my life. Shall not end my life. Shall not end my life. Shall not end my children's life. Shall not end my family's life. In the mighty name of Jesus, poverty shall not end my life. Sickness shall not end my life. Frustration shall not end my life. Stagnancy shall not end my life. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say powers flying day and night in order to destroy me. Powers flying day and night to their witchcraft coven in order to destroy me. 
collide with the rock of ages, collide with the rock of ages, powers flying day and night because of me to their witchcraft coven in order to destroy me. Collide with the rock of ages, collide with the rock of ages, collide, 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 collide with the rock of ages, any power anywhere, flying day and night because of me to destroy me in their coven, collide with the rock of ages, collide with the rock of ages, collide with the rock of ages, collide with the rock of ages. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, my father, let your blessing make me rich without sorrow. Father, let your blessing make me rich without sorrow. Oh Lord, give me a blessing that will make me rich without sorrow. Give us blessings that will make us rich without sorrow. Oh Lord God, my Father, give us blessings because we are your sons and daughters. Give us blessings, oh God, that will make us rich, that will have no sorrow to our lives. In the name of Jesus, give us blessings that will make us rich without sorrow. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Say, powers. Drawing powers from another power. Powers, drawing powers from another power to fight us. We defeat you with fire. In the name of Jesus, we attack you with fire. Powers, drawing powers from another power to attack us. We command fire to destroy you. We release fire. We release thunder, earthquake, seed quake to destroy you. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Powers, drawing powers from another power in order to attack us, in order to fight us. We destroy you with fire, with earthquake, with sea quake, with thunder. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Lastly, you pray like this. There are spiritual hired assassin. Maybe you are here. Maybe they have paid money on your head. You don't know. Maybe someone has promised the enemies gift to, just to terminate your life. You will pray like this. Say, wicked elders in my village, territorial powers, and environmental powers that paid money for me to be killed. Wicked elders in my village, territorial powers, environmental powers that paid money for me to be killed. You are a liar. Da, 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 da. Any power that paid money to other powers to kill me, to kill my family, to kill my dreams, to kill any members of this platform. They are liars. I command them to die, to die, to die, to die, to die. I command them to die, 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 to die. To die in Jesus' name, they are there. Father, we thank you for what you have done for us. We thank you, Lord, because you are God that answered by fire. We appreciate you, Lord, for answering us tonight. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Lord, we decree by the decree of heaven that any power anywhere, heavenly spirit anywhere, on assignment to harvest our souls for devil, on assignment to recruit us to the camp of the devil, they shall somersault and die. They shall somersault and die. They shall somersault and die. In the name of Jesus, every projection, every pronouncement, and every judgment of the devil over our lives, we command them to cut fire, 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 fire, in the name of Jesus. Any power that we go to any occultic meeting because of us tonight, they shall not return alive. They shall die. They shall die. They shall die. They shall die. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. I'd like to say very big thank you to you all. I want to congratulate you for the release and the acceptance of fire from heaven. That fire and the power that God has released upon you will set you free and will set your born generations free from the captivities of the devil. In the name of Jesus. Remember, we meet every day. 6 p.m. to have 6. Irish time. Tomorrow is Monday. The time to pray for the church. Please, the church needs prayer. Let's come together and pray for the body of Christ. And also, we have our videos on YouTube, Reality Christian Center channel. And also on our website, www.thepartofrighteousness.com. We have our publications books, prayers on our website. Feel free to go to our website and download those spiritual and inspirational messages 
they will be blessings to you. You can share them, give to your friends, let them enjoy what you are enjoying. Every prayer you pray on this platform, they will definitely change your story because we are calling on God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, and that God will never turn his back against us because we are forsaking all to serve God. That God will fight our battles for us in the name of Jesus. And every enemies of your life, those powers that are boasting against you, God will wish them in the name of Jesus. Let's share the grace and fellowship with me tomorrow. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven blessed hallelujah to celebrate our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. Till me tomorrow. Have a blessed evening. Bye.